times are changing. The technology is evolving at a rapid pace. It is time that our education system should also change from the traditional approach to the interdisciplinary approach. But what exactly does this interdisciplinary approach mean? To tell this, we have with us Sean F. Kulkarni, who has completed his mechanical engineering and is going to pursue masters. He will tell us that how important it is for our students to know about it. So Shaunak, can you please tell us what exactly does interdisciplinary approach mean? Hi guys, I am Shaunak Kulkarni. Firstly, thank you Tejas very much for having me here. So interdisciplinary approach means that you are familiar with all the streams of technology. Like we all know how influential all streams of technology are nowadays in any given topic in technology. Let us understand this with an example. So consider you're a mechanical guy working in automotive industry. Given the recent burst in the sustainable means or electric means of transport, a mechanical guy simply cannot sustain in this environment because a mechanical guy also needs to have the knowledge of say computer engineering for all the software related things and also electrical and electronics as the electric vehicles are full of that. This is completely evident by how a software update simply pops up in your Tesla and changes the complete driving experience. The other way around, if you consider a robotics guy who wants to work on self-driven cars or autonomous cars, then this robotics guy has to have the knowledge of say vehicle dynamics or all the vehicular systems in order to sustain in that self-driven cars environment. So from this, from these tremendous changes in the recent industry, it is evident that you need to have, you compulsory need to have the knowledge of all fields or technical fields that go hand in hand in order to make a healthy career. And that's exactly what interdisciplinary approach means. Truly, Shonak, we do understand that how important this interdisciplinary approach is. But Shonak, do you think in our country, how will the multiple academics be combined in a single curriculum? That's a very important question, Tejas. The academics that we have here hardly have such cocktail of options going in. Let's hope for the best for the next generation with the national education policy coming in. But that's not a reason to worry for our generations as well. Frankly speaking, it's not about the academics. It's about the skills that you have, the skills that you develop. And you can develop these skills outside of your acad academics through various platforms. There are numerous courses, certificate programs. For instance, nowadays there are many online courses available on various platforms which have plethora of such options starting right from one hour, two hour small courses right up to distant master degrees as well. So these courses have another advantage. They give you or they tutor you about all or any topic right from the foundation. And another thing, they are self-paced. So you can go according to your pace, according to your comfort. So that is another advantage. And the courses from these platforms are also widely recognized and worldwide accepted. So that won't be any issue. Only thing you need to be sure about is the authenticity of the platform you are doing a course through. And another thing, if you're moving on for higher studies, say masters or anything, then you can anytime include subjects from various backgrounds, various streams into your curriculum and make your profile stronger on the interdisciplinary side. Yeah, with the changing times, the internet is definitely going to help us. And we can take the advantage of the online streaming platforms, which will help us gather as much as knowledge possible. But Shonak, I seriously have a doubt. That, do you think it is only important for the technical fields or applicable for the other fields as well? No, not at all. This type of demand or let's say need instead of demand, this type of need is not only centered to the technical fields. Nowadays, one of the biggest demands of the industries is techno management profiles. By techno management profiles, I mean a student, a technical student, which also has learned about management subjects in his academics. So this student has knowledge of both technical side as well as the management side. These type of profiles are particularly very well suited for roles like project leader, project management. So in these kind of roles, you need to be doing much more than just the technical stuff. You need to be handling a team, you need to be managing a team or sometimes even a complete department. And roles like these need management knowledge for sure. So understanding this gap between management and technical studies, the higher education nowadays has drastically changed. Majority of the courses inculcate management studies into the technical studies. 
so you can opt for management subjects which you want into your technical masters as well so kind of a dual masters not literally but kind of a dual masters and if you are aiming for such profiles in your future leader project leader project manager then there is no better option than these techno management studies that's a great piece of information which you have shared today with all of us it will definitely be helpful for the students who have cleared that well and going to pursue engineering it will help them decide their career path i hope you all like this episode please do check out the youtube channel of shonak known as auto decode it gives you a guidance about cars and all the mechanism related to it and if you like this episode do hit the subscribe button thank you so much